going on guys this is your boy K actually I got some channel back today with another video and yes I'm so sorry that I didn't post as often or oh, not posting every single day but if you guys are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to comment down below so as I said if we can get a thousand subscribers before December I will be doing a giveaway and unfortunately we did not get that mark maybe it's due to the fact that I wasn't posting as often so what I need you to do right now if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe leave a comment that you did subscribe and I will be doing a giveaway very soon on one of these items so if you are not subscribed don't forget to subscribe so let's go what does every PS4 gamer need so firstly and basically you're gonna need a dual shock control now my control does the job okay uh, it's not the best control in the world and it's just sometimes it feels like so shit because it's it's just the way that it feels and it's just my hands are so big and it's just like it's, it's just small you know small so today I have some new stuff every PS4 needs one you're gonna need a headset so basically I went and got the PlayStation wireless stereo headset 2 and this is gonna cost you around a hundred dollars here in South Africa it's 1500 and you get a headset bro okay well I already opened this because I just had to so as you can see it's white and you have some awesome awesome buttons on the side as well as a switch you're charging and you got this here to plug into your DualShock control so it has a two-way adapter uh, it is adjustable so you can adjust it and you know adjust it and you let it go folds in just like that to give you know you can fold it bro um, it has a sound and chat uh, volume you can obviously see the volume and you get a black box so what is in the black box you get your charging cable you get a pouch for the headset and you get that two-way jack that I was talking about uh, so yeah guys that's basically all and I mean the control is not that hard and you get a USB as well that plugs straight into your PS4 it's not bad at all guys I'm being absolutely honest it's not bad at all I mean the, the you're gonna spend almost $200 to $150 on headsets just because you can sound haul somebody's footsteps I mean come on let's be realistic this is gonna save you a lot of time a lot of money and this lasts around nine hours to ten hours if you know how to use it properly so you need to get some decent headsets so the next one is called a 3b it's a 3b game handy radiator and this is a multi-function USB interface so I got this because one night I was playing Black Ops 3 with my team, Team Lag, you know this, and it was getting extremely hot. And I had no aircon at the mo at the time because my aircon just decided to, you know, give up on me. So the tree newbie, that's what it's called, is something that I went on Amazon and I looked for. And guys, when we take this apart, right, this is what it looks like. Plain and simple. There's there's not much as you see the front right this is a LED light that goes on when your PS4 is when it's plugged into your PS4 so if you plug this there's three fans as you can see right there's one two and three that spins and reduce the heat there is two USB slots so one two in the front you can put it on and you can put it off okay you can choose as well as four pins so basically four pins uh, and you just put your control so for me for example right you just uh, it has a thing here that you just put that there and boom so you you can have four controls on either side guys and it charges all four now that okay you need to come out that's something that's so dope right now and I don't think the original PS4 the PS4 one, I don't think the PS4 one has it. So this year is gonna cost you around 40 bucks. And in South Africa, that's gonna cost you around 400. This is well worth the money, trust me. 
I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna make I mean uh, just my room's gonna get you know cold but anyway it's still gonna work so the tree bee falls in there so we have the headphones we have the tree bee the next and the most important thing if you are a first person shooter if you are a sniper well I suck at sniping right but I'm trying I'm trying is a control yes I finally got it guys it's the Nikon Revolution Pro controller I have been wanting this control for over two months yes two months guys and I wanted this and I wanted it and I wanted it and unfortunately it took me so long to get it because I was hesitating is it better is my DualShock better than this control and what's the difference with this control compared to my DualShock and and I didn't know guys so to be honest I am not the person that's going to pay 1200 Rand which is like a hundred and hundred and five dollars for a control and both serve the same purpose in fact this one is wireless and this is wired so you have that small problem when you when you look at it at that at that point of view but I would definitely definitely go for a pro revolution controller what makes this different from the jewel shock well firstly nothing I mean the layout is completely different so basically I'm gonna show you guys now so basically your analog is moved to the left on the top where the, the, the um, uh, sticks are I mean you know where these buttons are so the analog moves there and the buttons come down there so so I mean you're gonna feel more comfortable so imagine playing a game right your hand is here and this is there so you know it's not sure it's there so basically you can have a better feel towards that uh, also it has a 460 stick so it moves all around the place it goes wider so you know when you're playing that first person shooter and you need to turn somebody quickly you can just turn him like like he wasn't even there and then you get dual vibration adjustable weights adjustable weights is so important when you are gaming my control feels light right and it's not it's not so light I mean this is a jewel shop so it, it has that that extra weight because of the vibrators in in the control itself but I mean the weight of the control feels nice compared to a cheap control that's like $20 or something nothing is gonna be light you can just throw that away but this actually feels nice so the weight on this is nice but I want something that's heavy because when something's heavy in your hand you have control over it you know where you're going you know what you're doing okay it also have a secure cable deattached for storage and it has something that the scruff controller does not have as well as the Raiju controller as well well the Raiju is gonna cost you uh, in our country that's 3,000 Rand so that's gonna cost us around 250 dollars as well as the scrap controller guys that's just gonna cost us so this has a fully program via PC app so basically what you do is you download the app which I am gonna show you guys in the video you download the app and when you download the app guys you can adjust how fast you want this control to be so if you want this control to be extremely fast so that means as soon as you touch that analog like this like touch it it's going full on automatic you can you can change it just like that also with the pro with the Nikon Pro Revolution controller you have four buttons at the back what does those button do where are we going to find out what they do so exactly you can change to if you just see you playing black ops 3 you can switch to your profile where everything is aggressive everything is just extremely sensitive everything is on point you can change it to that when you're playing world war obviously you can say you know what, i'm just gonna take it back i'm just gonna hold back i'm just gonna you know waste time and just camp it out and camp on the floor with a shotgun or a shovel whichever one you prefer so yeah guys that's what makes this control extremely 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 important if I had an option right now to choose between the three things that I have purchased that goes for the headphones that goes for the controller and that goes for this which 
does not serve any purpose now because I got my aircon fixed. But I still feel that those, this year, one, two, three, four. I mean, that's just sick. You can leave one control, that thing will be charging. And when, as soon as that, the one that you're playing with dies off, I mean, you can just chit chit, put the uh, one that's dying on charge. You can even actually get another one, two. You can get four controllers if you want. You can buy four. And it has two USB slots. And I will set this up for you guys so you guys can see it. So, out of everything that I bought, even this chair, I would say the best thing I ever bought was the headphones. I mean, I didn't even show you guys the control yet. And I didn't play with the control. Just forgive me. I know I'm jumping to conclusions and all, but... These headphones are so comfortable. They feel so secure. You can adjust it to exactly how you want it. If, whether you want it loose, you know, whether you... Sometimes I use my, my headphones like this. I don't know, but I use my headphones like this sometimes. So, so basically guys, the, the best thing I would say was the headphones. I know that it's sounding weird. Why would you say the best things is headphones? When you are a pro gamer, you need to hear, you need to have like a proper hearing aid to know where you are. But only buy the headphones if you guys play online. If you guys are playing ranked in World War II, get the headphones. If you guys are playing competitive FIFA or weekend league that you don't need headphones for because you you can't hear what what he's doing I mean he's on the pitch he's playing any first person shooter game I would suggest getting a headphone but the main reason why I say that this is so important a lot of people these days are using headphones and I mean when you're playing on World War you can hear your teammates extremely loud and you can hear when you're running as well, you, you're out of breath. But if you stand in a corner and you got that headphones on and you got your volume up and, you, and you're just listening, you will actually hear somebody running towards you. You can hear the detail. And that's why I would say for me, I wasn't, I'm not the best Call of Duty player. Trust me, I am not the best sniper. I suck. But if there's one thing I'm good at is listening and, and identifying the enemy. And another thing with the Sony headphones, whereas Turtle Beach and and Reju and I obviously cannot compete, is the application on the PlayStation. So when you purchase those headphones, you go onto the Play Store and you get an app that calls a headset app, which is on the Play Store. You download the app, guys, and when you download it, you can set it to what game you're playing. So when I when I set it mine up, I was playing. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn and I set that up and I could hear every single thing I was just in the bush hiding it out and I could hear everything so this is extremely good so now let's go into the important part the control was it worth it should you guys get it is it important for every PS4 we are going to find out right now let's go okay so basically guys you can see this is a dual shock and it's on right now and we're just gonna put the dual shock there oh my god that looks so dirty right now but it's just because of the plastic so chill so right now we have the pro revolution controller and yes i know what you guys must be thinking why isn't it open as yet we are going to do the opening right now so just give me some time okay so you saw the the, the playstation 4 dual shock control so this is the control guys and right now we are going to open the Pro Revolution. So let's go and get this open. Okay, so here we go. So basically just slide that out. Oh my God, that looks so aggressive right now. The fact that you see that symbol, that just shows that they take time. And when we open it, oh my word, that is so dope okay revolution pro controller and as you can see this is a mold oh my word guys that looks so dope i mean just look at it the way it's presented is absolutely amazing and i'm just gonna you know get this. oh my word guys guys 
this feels so nice it has the buttons in the back oh my word guys it feels a little bit chunky but I mean oh my word oh my guys this is like a, a, a huge difference compared to the the jewel shop so as you can see right that's the diff th that is what I'm talking about just look at it right it's two different controls this is just so epic and this is wired guys so as soon as you touch it it's instant so oh my word guys this looks so good right now and it feels even better and the buttons in the back it, it's kind of kind of in the way so there's actually more buttons okay so there's two buttons here and there's a mode button and there's a profile and this is where you open the control itself so we're just gonna move that aside okay so back to the revolution box right when we're gonna move this out you get the instructions which I'm guessing none of us really need right now okay and you get this uh, and the box becomes empty whoever has the bag uh, you guys are damn lucky to get a bag so basically when we open this okay what comes out of this okay firstly it's the three meter cable so you get the cable and I think the last thing that you get uh, sorry guys if I'm making noise is the adjustable weights so as you can see right now let me let me just try and get one out these are the adjustable weights okay so this goes into the controller and that's the key to open the controller so that's the key and that's the adjustable weights uh, so basically that's about it so guys thank you so much for watching the entire video if you did don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe because one of you